So what can go right, okay, that actually matters? I'm going to give you some right stuff. First, we need to flatten the curve of the outbreak. Most Americans will probably get this disease, but when we get it, it uh, when we get it matters. When? If everyone gets it at once, our healthcare system will be overwhelmed like we're seeing in Italy. We want it to be more like South Korea, where they slowed the spread and got the situation under control with great alacrity and ingenuity, like drive through testing to encourage people to catch it early. We can't even find tests in New York City, despite what you hear about in Washington. You, you don't get one unless you're on death's door, it seems. That means we need to calmly start separating ourselves. You've heard these terms, right? The separation, the crowd getting away from them, stop gathering, stop going out, that kind of stuff. Uh, no fans at NCAA games, done. No more college, done. That's right. No more late night talk show crowds, done. Uh, anything to stop congregating, maybe including NBA baseball, NBA and, uh, and Major League Baseball, and any and all conventions and fundraisers, reunions, you name it. Stop traveling for heaven's sakes, unless it's truly essential. If we do that, we can beat COVID-19. Okay, it's going to cause a recession. I told you that. Many people will be hurt financially, but our healthcare system won't be overwhelmed and a lot more sick people will live. So stop acting like everything's normal because it's not. Work remotely if possible. It won't kill you to stay home. It actually might save you. Two, our scientists could still solve this. Dr. Tony Fauci, who helped turn AIDS from a death sentence into a manageable condition, he's given us a straight dope the whole way. He's never said the virus is under control, not once. He's hopeful we'll get a vaccine for next year. Unfortunately, they take a long time to develop. In the interim, maybe we can come up with an antivirals that uh, get people out of the hospital faster. Uh, that's why I want the government to put itself on war footing to stop this thing. Get a Manhattan Project going, for heaven's sake. Offer a huge prize to anyone who comes up with a cure. More realistically, we need to flood local community health organizations with the billions of dollars they're going to need to do their jobs. Think the Marshall Plan for Community Health. We need a Malcolm X approach to this thing, as in by any means necessary. And we want to hear that Regeneron or Gilead have novel drugs to fight a novel virus. Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Third, maybe we're going to get a break with the weather. Now, we don't know whether this virus, what it'll do when it gets warm, although it's still striking people in warmer climes. But if we slow the spread, flatten the curve, maybe we can get to the summer without horrific casualties and overwhelming the public health system. Fourth, we need something major from the federal government. Yeah, something really brilliant here. Not a payroll tax cut. That's a whole hum. That only helps people who are currently working. We need to pay people to not work. Maybe we give them $1,500 bucks a, each, some kind of moratorium on student loans. How about that? That's seven trillion bucks. Moratorium. Think about that. How about a sovereign wealth fund to buy companies that get bankrupted by the disease for pennies on the dollar? At this point, you need to think outside the box. None of the other stuff, the tired stuff. That doesn't work. This is different. With interest rates so low, the government can get away with spending fortunes here. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.